All right, guys, I'm going to tell you how to size a fuse real quick for the secondary side of a transformer. We'll sizing fuses in a minute, but first I'm going to show you this sweet tool by Supco. What's up, guys? So we got this Supco fuse testing super kit here. It's super bright out here, so I'm kind of squinting. But we are going to go through this, and I'm going to show you how to use it on a unit to check for ground faults, all right? We're going to do that right now. In the kit, we have a 3-amp breaker, a 5-amp breaker, some fuse placeholders, and some wiring. Now, if you have a low voltage fuse, basically what you can do is you can take it out if it's popping all the time. You take it out, you put this in its place. Then what you do is you wire, with the wiring it comes with, you wire it into one of these. And I can show you how to do that depending on how the system is set up. Like if you have a 75 VA transformer on, on your control side, 24 volt, you're gonna wanna use the three amp, okay? So I can show you how to set that up. So what I've done here is I've taken the fuse out and put that fuse placeholder right inside of there. So now we can wire up our breaker and I'll show you guys that right now. Wire up our breaker and instead of a fuse tripping in that spot, our breaker is going to trip, which is gonna allow us to troubleshoot a lot better. All right, so here we go. We got that fuse placeholder in. Okay, we're gonna come in with power and then we're gonna come down this wire here to the breaker. Okay, we're gonna come back up this wire, move through the circuit again. If there's a short anywhere in that circuit, this breaker will pick it up and it will trip. Something to be weary of here, guys, and I'm showing you this because this is super important. Now, what I've done here is just an example of how to use this setup. But you can see that's a 15 amp fuse in there. This is a three amp breaker. When you're gonna use this tool, make sure that when you pull out the fuse, you check it. If it's three amp, go ahead, use the three amp breaker. If it's five amp, use the five amp breaker. A lot of circuits, uh, low voltage systems on smaller systems or 75 VA transformers, they're, they're three amp protected and this is a three amp fuse. But be careful guys, when you pull the fuse out, if the fuse does not match the breaker, don't use it. But in most low voltage scenarios on smaller systems, you'll be able to use this tool no problem, and it will help you along uh, the way. Fortunately though, this unit we're gonna work on, it doesn't have any fuses, so we can't put a placeholder in, but I can show you like a, a quasi setup on how you would use it in this situation. But what we're gonna do with this York unit here is we're just gonna set this up along with the transformer, in series with the transformer wiring to show you how you could use it to protect a transformer while you're troubleshooting a low voltage short. So because every day there's a new problem in the trade and, and things happen and you can't always get the right parts, I'm gonna show you a way to use the breakers in this with a set of jumpers just to check the system out. So let's say this transformer dies. This one doesn't have a breaker on it. So that means we cannot reset it if there's a fault on the low voltage side. So that transformer is gonna die. So let's say you go out to the supplier. First suggestion is you always get a transformer that has a breaker in it. If you can't get one, get a fuse and fuse it with an inline fuse holder. If you can't do that, you can only get the same transformer that's there. What I suggest you do before you run this machine full tilt is put this breaker in line with the transformer to make sure that that short that you thought you got, there's no other problems that could cause this transformer to go again. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the power wire off the transformer, you're gonna go in series. You're gonna take your jumper, you're gonna go down to the breaker, and then with your other jumper, back up, back onto this wire. So now we've wired this breaker in series. Right here, okay? So now that that's in series, any low voltage shorts in the system is going to trip here. Now you have to make sure that you're using the right one. So this is a 75 VA transformer. So the three amp breaker is going to work out nicely for that. I'll tell you how to size a fuse real quick for the secondary side of a transformer. So you have a 24 volt secondary, you run out to buy a transformer and you can't get a transformer that has a breaker mounted in it. So you wanna protect that transformer in case there's ever a short in that circuit. So what you do is you, you get the VA of the transformer and because it's 24 volts, you take 75 divided by 24, and that gives you around three. So you put a three amp fuse in line with that. So what you would do is buy a little inline fuse holder, a three amp glass fuse, and put it in line with the line side of that transformer. Now, if the VA was 100, right? Same thing, you take the 100, 
divide it by 24, and you're left with about four amps. So you put a four amp fuse in that place. So if the transformer doesn't have a breaker, that is a quick way to size the fuse, to put an inline fuse in to protect that transformer from further shorts in the system.